Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be playing Darklands, a historical RPG uh, released back in 1992. I actually first got this game as a birthday present from my Uncle Roger, so shout out to him. Still playing it 30 years later. Let's get into it, shall we? Now the first thing that we're going to do, like in all amazing RPG games, is we're going to kill everybody. So goodbye Gretchen, goodbye Gunther, goodbye Hans. And we're going to start over with our own team. Now I was trying to come up with four fun creative names. Uh, one thing about this game is you're definitely going to want a woman on the team. Uh, because some of the saints require a uh, female to pray to them because uh, perhaps they were a, a female martyr or uh, maybe they were a witch or uh, accused of being a witch, I should say. And uh, they'll only answer prayers of women. So we are going to have a female leader. And the foursome that came to mind that has both men and women was the Fantastic Four. So for whatever reason, we're bringing the Fantastic Four into medieval Germany. Uh, their characters are going to be nothing like they are in the comics because this is medieval times, but I thought it would be kind of fun, so let's do that. Uh, also, we're going to make Sue the leader because she's going to be the only woman on the team. And she's higher in charisma, I think, than Reed Richards. So the nickname is what everyone will refer to our party as. And so I'm going to go with their actual names, uh, just for simplicity reasons. Now she is going to be high in charisma, virtue, speak common, uh, streetwise, things like that. Uh, for those of you that are new to the game, uh, these are our attributes here. Endurance and strength are what keeps us upright in battle. Uh, so if our strength hits zero, we are dead, gone. If Endurance hits zero, we will be knocked out for the fight. Those are going to be our two most important stats. We have Agility, which will be good for somebody who's sneaky. We have Perception to avoid being ambushed, uh, to also be aware of our surroundings. Intelligence is going to be really important for Alchemy, uh, speaking Latin, reading, writing, uh, dealing with people of the, of the church or political people. All of that's going to matter. Charisma, of course, is great for party leaders, uh, makes people more likely to do as we want. Uh, so our leader will be focusing on that. Uh, we're going to start out with Wealthy Urban Family for our leader. Start off by maxing out Endurance and Strength. Bring Charisma up as high as we can. Now once again, our focus is going to be virtue, speak common, and streetwise. Our other characters should be able to do everything else. I do not level up the weapons unless I have nothing else I want to put points into because it is very easy to level this up through early game combat. So let's take a look here. So the recruit actually gives us one extra endurance and strength. Uh, it does not help our charisma, but I don't think that's as important. I'd rather be able to survive. However, Virtues Speak Common and Streetwise. Well, Streetwise is pretty okay. We get eight points there, so three given, five optional. But Virtue and Speak Common are really low. Let's see what other options we have. So I'm not a fan of lowering my strength. But I really think this is going to help us get along in the game. So we're going to go ahead and go this direction. So we'll start with Virtue, Speak Common, max those out. Streetwise. Now we have nine points left over. Let's go ahead and do Religion. And we'll put a point into stealth. 
Now each time you pick an occupation, you go up five years. As you get older, you actually start losing stats and becoming weaker. And because this game can take many years of in-game time, um, I'm gonna stop at 25 years old. So that gives us one more here. Now I was really wanting to hit about 20 virtue and maybe 30 speak common. And it looks like we can do that with a noble air. Uh, Streetwise is gonna be lower than I wanted, but I will bump those points up with one of our other characters. So let's go with a noble air. Once again, top off virtue, get our speak common up. I will put the points in streetwise, even though uh, we'll have another character with higher streetwise. And with our leftover four points, let's go ahead and do religion. That should help us with some of the saints, or the churches at least. And our leader is ready. Next we'll do Reed Richards. Now he is going to be high intelligence. Uh, we're gonna be going with alchemy, speak Latin, reading and writing. Uh, we'll probably be doing religion and virtue as well. So basically everything here except for the speak common. Uh, you'll also notice the more money you had as a background, the less experience points that you have to play with. So if we come all the way down to a commoner, we have 97 points to distribute. And as we work up, we get less and less. So we're gonna go with wealthy urban family again. Now this is gonna be the one character that I will sacrifice a little bit of strength and endurance to keep the intelligence a little bit higher. Hopefully we don't regret that later in the game. I have a feeling our strength is going to get lowered based on uh, some of the professions we're going to uh, choose, so I'm actually going to buff that up a little bit. And we'll put that final point in Charisma. So this is a little bit chaotic, but um, we're going to give that a shot. Let's see what happens. We might also go a little bit older with this character, maybe up to 30 or 35. I think we're going to go with student. That should give us a, a quick jump to our read and writing, speak Latin. Uh, alchemy is a little low, but maybe we could choose an alchemist. And that'll give us uh, one point to our intelligence as well. So I think we have plenty of points for all these. Uh, let's go ahead and throw some into healing. Get our stealth up, and then uh, we're going to be a distance fighter, preferably. So how about... Bump up all the ranged weaponry. And we're going to go ahead and go with an alchemist. Just get those early easy points. I think it'll make a big difference for our gameplay. All right, let's go one more. Now we've got Master Alchemist. Let's see, you can see our endurance and strength is gonna suffer greatly. With that down to 35, 36. Our intelligence goes up to 38. All right, let's go ahead and do this. So healing up, virtue up. Split these points a little bit. All right, we're gonna go one more. He's gonna be a little old, but that's all right. All right, let's do this. So healing topped off. Wanna hit 20 there. We're over 30 on these guys. 
All right, I am happy with that. So he's a little older, his endurance and strength are a little bit lower. We'll just have to keep him uh, in the back. Got Ben. He is going to be our tank. Uh, he will be our tank, but he is also going to be uh, good at riding and woodwise. I think we'll save artifice and stealth and streetwise for Johnny Storm here. So all we care about with this character is these skills here and endurance and strength. And we'll do perception as our backup. Um, you'll notice once you get to 29, so these take one point each, but once you get to 30, it switches to two. See, when we go up to 30, it goes down to 45. And it stays that way all the way to 39. Now that 40th point actually costs three. So you see it goes from 27 to 24. For our fighters, that's definitely worth it. We're gonna bump up perception that uses up our points. That's actually pretty good. And now we're going to focus on writing and woodwise. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'm not a fan of low virtue, but we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. So Woodwise and Ride. Uh, just in case we end up having to joust, we will put points into pole arms. Uh, bump up some of these others. Don't really care about them, but we have extra points to burn. And maybe some of these thrown and uh, bow weapons. Let's actually put a point into Virtue, too. Even that one point can help. All right, well, let's do this again. Get our pole arms. I want him to start with a pole arm so that we can level that. So I just want to make sure that that's the highest. Uh, when you start your character, whatever skill is the highest for your uh, fighting skills, you'll get a weapon in that category. And this is our last uh, occupation, so at 14, that'll be the highest. Uh, let's get our point in virtue. And let's put the rest into stealth. All right, and last but not least, we have Human Torch. Now Johnny here is going to be high in Artifice, which is the lock picking. It's gonna be high in Stealth, and he's also gonna be um, focused on Agility as a, as a backup attribute. And then streetwise as well. I think that these all go hand in hand. Uh, so we'll make sure that his is higher than uh, Sue. Urban Commoner has a lot more experience points. We have 96 here. The three skills that we're focusing on are right here. So that's a total of nine free skills. The Town Trade, we only get 93. And this would give us a total of nine as well. See, we have 12 and 15 with the agility, so there's 27, 39 points. These are the three that we're focusing on. And here, that would be 43. So I think we're going to go with the Urban Commoner, even though the Artifice skill is lower. In the long run, I think this will benefit us a little more. So Johnny's going to be our other fighter. He's going to be maxed out on Endurance and Strength. Agility to follow up. Let's go ahead and do Thief. 
So Artiface, Stealth, Streetwise. Uh, let's keep the virtue as high as possible. So we have a lot of points left over here. Let's see. We'll do some speak common just for giggles. A little woodwise. Healing, why not? And then with the thief, I think we're probably, you know, let's go with impact weapons. I think they do a little better against uh, most armors. And should we do throwing weapons? I think throwing weapons might weigh a little bit less than a bow and arrow. Yeah, why not? Let's give it a shot. You know what? Let's do labor. All right, extra points. It gives us a little bit extra virtue too. Probably not enough to help us any. Oh, look at those impact weapons too. That's great. Um, so none of these are that important. We've already got other characters for all of these. We'll do healing just in case. Uh, that'll be good there. And why not? Let's do a little bit of Woodwise. All right, we're ready to start. So let's add our characters. All right, let's get started. You gather around the comfortable fire at the Hockerbrow in the city of Stettin. Then we are agreed, asked Sue. We will swear this pact of loyalty to achieve justice and glory for all. Everyone nods. You all swear a pact as blood brothers to seek good and avoid evil and to bring everlasting honor and glory to your name. You look around at each other. Now that we have a goal, Sue remarks wryly, how shall we achieve it? Let's visit the market in the guilds in search of better equipment and more training, suggests Reed. I've also heard that the churches and monasteries may take on students. Once we find some teachers, we can just stay here and work at various things until the money runs low. Everyone nods, a wise plan, remarks Ben, but why not take action now? Thieves infest the back streets here at night. We can gain repute, experience, and a bit of plunder by eliminating these scum. Let us also listen to rumors and visit the marketplace to learn about tasks the merchants may have for us. There's an unhappy look on Johnny's face. Don't we need fine armor and good weapons? Maybe the sale of one or two valuable items would give us the funds to help everyone here. I am loath to venture into the dangerous countryside without good equipment. That's a good point. After discussing these issues, you decide to equip our armor. All right, so we got a short sword. Uh, v is your vitals. Uh, L is your limbs. So this will be your chest and legs. Well, waist. This will be your arms and legs and feet, I guess. I uh, see short sword. Alright, Sue is very low on edged weapons as expected, but that'll level quickly. Looks like Reed ended up with... Uh, so out of all these, they ended up giving him the short sword. Ooh, and look at all these alchemy, alchemy potions. So I think we'll hold on to those. We might be able to sell them. Um, I like having these in the inventory though. Uh, those will be really useful. Um, he does not have any armor, so we'll have to find him some armor, maybe from some ruffians early in the game. Uh, see, so studded leather, it's a little bit better. We got a short spear. Now the 25Q, this is just the generic quality, so 25 is just average run-of-the-mill. Uh, if it's lower than that, it's pretty much garbage. If it's higher than that, that's really good, and we'll keep our eyes out for that. If we have the money and the ability to buy better gear, we definitely will. Uh, how do we end up? Pole arms, 14. Okay. And Johnny, what'd you end up with? Just a club. 
because he was poor he didn't get any armor all right so first thing we're gonna do is build up our reputation so if we go to the map here you can see uh, we are here in the world we are unknown with a reputation of nine so to build that up we are going to start by taking a nap. Strolling among the trees, you find an especially soft and pleasant place, sunlit and not too windy. You settle down here, backs against sturdy oaks, and nap until nightfall. Ah, that would be the life. You awaken ten hours later. You all feel refreshed and awake, as if you'd had a regular night's sleep. Of course, you are a bit dirtier too. That's okay. We don't mind being dirty. So we're looking for trouble. We're gonna go down a side street and head over to the empty blackness of the docks at night, which should bring trouble. Suddenly alert, Ben senses danger nearby. He warns you all of a group of cutthroat thieves in ambush. Quickly assessing the situation, you decide to. See, this is where that streetwise kicks in. Now, Worst case scenario, we have to fight these guys, and that's okay, we wanna fight them. But if we try to use our street sense to talk them into leaving you alone, we potentially level our skills. So that's what we're going to do. Unfortunately, Sue fails to convince the cutthroats of anything. With a coarse laugh, they fall upon you, blades flashing. And that's about what we expected All right, let's line these guys up. So our fighters are right here in the back. We're gonna have to change our order to bring them to the front in the future. But we'll go ahead and have them do the tanking. All right, we'll have him go berserk and he'll go berserk, see if we can kill these guys really quick. Hey, where are you going? Must not be enough room there. All right, Sue's gonna have to come around and maybe fight this guy. Uh oh, we don't fit through there, okay. All right, Johnny's taking a lot of damage. That's okay, it's still early game. Aha! We have won against these ruffians. All right, now this clothing is worthless. We can't sell that for anything. However, I really like to have one on each character so that uh, should I start selling their inventory out, it will stop at the clothing and not sell their gear. So we're going to take one. Uh, let's see, Reed does not have any armor. So he is going to get one of each. Uh, ben is good. Johnny also is lacking. And then Sue is going to get the rest of the stuff we're going to sell. And we'll leave that last clothing. Now look at that, pull arms leveled up four points in a single fight. This is why we didn't focus on this at the beginning of the uh, character creation. And look at that, Johnny also got four points. Uh, that is fantastic for a first fight, although jo Johnny took a lot of damage. As you stand back from the now motionless bodies, windows open and people cheer your victory. An old dignified woman com comes up to you. Our thanks, strangers, for stopping these scum. We are finally free of their robberies and beatings. All right, let's go ahead and equip the really low quality armor that we just got. See here, it's only 10 quality. I'm not sure this is even going to accomplish anything. All right, now let's head back to the docks again. Looking for more trouble. 
and we found it. Where are you going? Attack that guy. Uh, I want you to parry. We don't want you losing any more health. And I want you to go berserk. Look at that. Two dead that quick. Alright, so you're the tank. You get in there. I do not want you doing the tanking. Alright, go berserk. And you are berserk. Look at that. Oh. All right, she's okay. So we got some swords, a little bit of leather. Uh, we also found four Groshen, six Fennings. That's great. Edged weapons leveled up. Pole arms again, only one point. That's okay. Boy, Johnny is leveling fast. Now, most knights you can get in three fights. Uh, let's see if we can get one more. Excellent. Looks like we got a pretty good choke point right here. Let's see if we can move these move these guys up in here and try to wipe these guys out really quick. All right. So we'll have you parry, we'll have you parry. Now what parry does is it makes it so your attacks are slower, but you focus more on defense. And the reason we do that is we can set these guys up to go berserk. And what that means is they don't care about defense at all. They are just trying to attack as quick as possible. And hopefully that will salvage some of our endurance, which makes healing quicker and a little bit easier. Let's see how this goes. So that guy is already dead. Uh, Reed, we're going to have you tank this guy. Can you get in there? Okay, good. Ooh, Reed took a big hit. So did Johnny. Come on, guys. Oh, Johnny is taking a lot of damage. All right. Down to two ruffians here. Well, don't chase him. Let's just take this guy down. Beautiful. All right. He's trying to separate us. Don't fall for it. Let's back up here. We'll wait for him. Now, who has the highest endurance? Uh, ben and Sue. So we'll have Ben do the tanking. Okay, so you're going to tank and you are all going berserk. Oh, that backfired. All right, hold on, back up a second. There we go. Oh, come on, Ben. And he's down. All right, got a little bit of money, a little bit of normal loot. Nice level up. All right, we'll take it. All right, we're going to try for one more fight. I don't know if it'll happen. Oh, look at that. Okay, we squeezed in one more. All right, Johnny is really getting low on endurance, so I'm not going to have him do any tanking. Uh, we'll let Sue and Ben be the main tanks this round. So let's try to get to these choke points here.
Okay, hold on. Where are you going? Come back here. Alright, Johnny is not tanking. That's good. We'll have him go berserk. Looks like Reed took a little damage. That's alright. Beautiful. All right, I'm pretty sure it's going to be daytime now. Wow, a fifth fight. Okay. Let's see if we can level up our uh, streetwise here. Oh, nothing. Okay. Well, this is going to be a risky fight. That's all right. Uh, so Ben and Sue, it looks like, are still the strongest. Once again, we'll get them to the choke points here. All right, one down already. Come on, get in there. This is great. Look at that. Look at how fast we kill them when they separate. All right, everyone back up. We're not falling for that same tactic. Let's go. Oh, get back here. Alright, who has the highest endurance? Uh, Sue does, so we'll let Sue do the tanking. Even though it's just one, I'd rather not take any more damage than we have to. Okay, she'll go to parry. These guys are all going to go berserk. And hopefully this guy is dead quick. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, we'll leave the clothing behind. Once again, that's worthless. A little bit of uh, weapon level up there makes Johnny even stronger. Alright, now it's got to be daytime. There's the music we like. Okay. So our reputation was nine. After those five fights, we're all the way up to 19. So we got about two uh, reputation per fight. Uh, we are still unknown throughout uh, all of medieval Germany though, so we'll have to change that. Now that we're respected here, we're gonna go sell our goods and see if we can get any quests. So first things first. So this is what I'm talking about here. So the, having the clothing here, I can just hold down S to sell. It'll sell all of this and it will stop there. And there we go. We're up to 699 Fennings. And to get a quest, you just go visit each one of these. And when you leave, there's a chance that you'll get a quest. All right, so right away we got six Florin quests from uh, these guys here. Let's see, uh, reputation is well known. I'm hoping you may be of some service to me in a matter of some import. Sue nods politely. But first, let me show you this modest purse. A small strong box is open displaying six Florins, a princely sum. Then the box is closed and locked. 
Now let me explain our difficulty. Ah, so this is a robber knight. So explaining further, Maximilian Stromer says, The rapacity of the robber knight Nicholas of Groschbach knows no bounds. For years we have paid him off, but now he demands more than even we can pay. We refused, so he has cut off travel. He burns bridges, fells trees to block roads, and murders wayfarers. Eliminate him, and we would pay you well. Later, you privately discuss the matter. The Fuggers are rich beyond measure, but the task is not easy. The Rob Ritters of Germany are hard men served by tough and loyal warriors. You inquire about the whereabouts of Nicholas of Grasbach. His castle is northwest of Pranslau, west of Stetten. Hopefully I didn't mess up those pronunciations. So this is the one part of the game where you're going to want to actually write something down. Uh, I don't know of any in-game way of uh, recording these quests. So I keep a little uh, paper pad near me and um, I'll write down each of the quests we get and how much they pay. The Rob Raiders are going to be the best quests you can get. Uh, you get a lot of great loot, you get a lot of great experience, and you get a lot of reputation, uh, and you get paid really well. Six is actually really low, six florins, but uh, that's okay, because other people might give us the same quest. All right, let's try out the Medici. So we're gonna request an audience and they don't like us yet. How about the Hans? Uh, yeah, let's proclaim our fame. Oh, that didn't work out, okay. And then just out of curiosity, let's see what's in the pawn shop. So the pawn shop has lower quality. See, 17 quality. Uh, they're cheaper, but I don't think they're really going to benefit us any. Uh, so they've got a low quality rope and clock. Uh, we're not going to worry about that stuff right now. All right, because this is an older game, we want to make sure that we save somewhat often. Uh, I am going to play this as, uh, I guess you'd call it Iron Man. If we lose a character, they're gone. Uh, we'll have to create a new character. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully we don't lose anybody this playthrough. Uh, so let's see. Next, let's see if there is an alchemist here or a healer. So we do that by going over here in the less violent pursuits. So there's a physician and there's an alchemist. Uh, let's start with the physician and see if we can uh, get some training. Grinning sheepishly, the physician confesses, I must be truthful. Your skills in healing match my own. There's nothing I can teach you. Perhaps someone in another city has greater skill and a willingness to accommodate students. Okay, fair enough. And then we want to try to get some alchemy uh, recipes here. So we're going to make read the leader. And then we're going to talk to the alchemist. Strolling past townhouses displaying various arcane symbols, the experienced eye of Reed easily spots the best alchemist in Stetten, Albert Müller. Inside, you are very polite, as alchemists are famous for their arrogance. All right, let's see if we get lucky and he will trade us. This is uh, easily the best way to acquire new recipes. Growling, the alchemist Albert Müller says, Be gone, bothersome and ignorant fellows, before I turn you into toads. Although confident he lacks such powers, you decide it's only polite humor to humor him for the next few days. That's okay. That's going to happen. All right. Let's go back to Sue being the leader. Now, the next step, 
will be, let's go to the churches and see if we can inquire about a saint. Uh, where are they? Tall spires of great churches, uh, where they study law and administration, and study about saints. The old monk promises to inquire and bids you wait for an answer. You take seats on a wooden bench and wait. As you are escorted into the library, your guide whispers, a gift of two groschen to help maintain the library would be appreciated. The old librarian nods and talks happily about the documents they have concerning various saints. You discuss your preferences and discover that today you only have time to study one saint and only one person can see the sources at a time. Okay, so these are our choices. Now I am going to double check the manual and see uh, which ones would benefit us. Uh, let's see who has the highest virtue here. So 22 virtue and 20 virtue. Uh, so right now we really want saints that are gonna be uh, low virtue requirement. We decided to go with Isidore uh, because the virtue was only a 21 requirement. Although I learned it with Sue, I forgot that her virtue is 20. So we will have to level up her virtue at least one before she can use her. But let's see, patron saint of farmers and of Madrid. He was a hired hand to a Spanish noble where he lived a life of great devotion and poverty. He provides a small increase to speak common, a modest increase to charisma, and a good increase to streetwise. He may enhance local reputation in Madrid and Spain and increase charisma. So hopefully that'll be useful to us at some point in the game. Oh, we're all done there. Actually did read, I'm curious what potions he has or recipes. Okay, so he actually has some pretty good ones here. Thunderbolt is pretty useful. Transformation. Yeah, these are all actually really good. Does he know any saints? No. That's okay. Now it is probably night. So we're going to go down the side street, try to avoid the guards. And let's see if we can get to the inn. Naturally, there'll be a fight on the way. That's okay, we're doing okay here. So, as usual, looks like Sue and Ben are tanking. I say as usual, it's not supposed to be that way. Let's bring you over here. All right, looks like our choke point is working pretty well. Well, that backfired. Okay, how about you switch to this guy? Can you reach him? Ouch. Let's switch you to Perry. Hang on there, Ben. All right, let's go after this guy. All right, Sue can parry this guy. Nope, no, I said parry. Ah, oh, they left her on berserk and now she's really low. Um, okay, 18, 14, 20, and 19. Well, I think Ben has the best armor, so I'm going to let him do the tanking. Can we allow her to flee? Here, let's have you parry. Let's have you berserk. And we need you to run away. There we go. Oh, no, you were not supposed to switch targets. Okay, that's no bueno. 
Oof, okay. Well, that one hurt a little bit. But now we can go heal. Now this is the importance of good armor. Um, our strength is really low on everybody. All right, we're gonna take up residence to heal up. So let's see, because of our popularity, it is only costing eight fennings a night. That is incredible. We're up to 20, our local reputation. All right, so we're gonna regain, regain. Ah, our healing is too low. We're only get, regaining one strength every single night. So it's gonna take us three weeks just to heal. It's quite ridiculous. So let's go about a week. So three days, four days, and seven days. And the reason being, I wanna go out and see if we can get any quests. So we will go back and heal again, but let's start by going to the market. Can go ahead and sell off the little bit of loot we got there. So we're up to 764 fennings. We already got a quest from these guys, so we'll skip them. The Medici still aren't having us. Come on, Hans, give us a job. You're missing out. You have no idea the talent that we have. We are the Fantastic Four. Okay, let's see if the Alchemist will talk to Reed. I don't know if a week is long enough after he gets mad at us, but we're gonna try. Ah, he is a grumpy old fella. All right, you know what? We're coming back, and next time you're gonna trade with us. All right, make Sue the leader again. Now I know the church isn't ready for us. We might have to wait another week for that. Uh, we can get a quest from the political center, but if they turn us down, we actually lose reputation. Uh, I believe it's because they make a mockery of us if they turn us down. Um, so I'm gonna wait till our reputation is really high before I ever try that. Uh, so in the meantime, let's go ahead and head back to the inn. Uh, so we'll sleep for another week. We've definitely got to get more healing. I should have focused a little more on that. And I believe that's seven days. 